Democrat is breaking the law, says some officials from Puerto Rico. That is due to the U.S. housing agency dragging its leg on setting up the ability for the island to apply for billions in natural disaster funds. Now, a very big problem legally, according to Democrats, since the U.S. Congress appropriated the funds three months ago. Now, as a result, Puerto Rico will be delayed in receiving its allotted $8.3 billion for projects that would help the island prepare for future storms, such as Hurricane Maria, which tore the territory apart in 2017. Well, joining me to discuss is the mayor of Ponce, Maita Melendez. Thank you so much for joining us, Mayor, on this conversation. And you're here in D.C. You make trips here. First, I just have to ask, how is the rebuilding of your town since the Hurricane Maria? Maria two years ago. Well, let me explain you. After two years, uh, we are uh, the mayors are the ones who are the first responders. Second, we are the ones who are wasting the money for humble budget uh, to begin reconstruction, but the money hasn't disbursed to the people of Puerto Rico, not even to the mayors. They go directly from HUD to the State Department and FEMA. So we haven't seen the money yet. The, the president has said they have gave us about $92 million, and that's just true. Right. No, they, ha they just has appointed 49, and he have get to Puerto Rico $20 million. So it's difficult. So in the reconstructed, after two years, there are in my city about 1,400 uh, persons living with blue charp, blue charp. If, if Dorian had come over there and hit us, thanks God he didn't hit us, uh, we have been trouble because we have been taking out the people out of your houses in the coastal area and taking them to a refugee center because it was impossible to spend that. Well, talk to us as a mayor. When these hurricanes, when these do hit, what do you do in order to get money? Or are there people, do they come to you, or do you have to specifically go to the government and say, this is how much we need? Or do they send people to your town to look around and see exactly no, what is example, needed? for example, FEMA has always in the branch in Ponce. So every two weeks, every two, uh, sorry, every two times a week, a week, my team, and it's composed of people from the municipality and the compliance leader with a group of, of her uh, company to tell all the compliance uh, of the, of the, after the hurricanes. And then a person who is an engineer, licensed, licensed engineer, who is already also, he is the project manager implementing all the projects. We have to present every document, every paper. I have always, since 1985, in the municipality, all the mayor, up to now, we have used uh, more than $510 million from federal funds. There have been no findings. Right. There have been no any, any, anything wrong. No corruptions in Ponce and many other cities. Let me tell you this. We are responsible in that, and we are honest people at the same time. So we are the ones who use our taxes, our property, and, um, and non-property uh, taxes at the same time. And at the same time, we use another kind of taxes uh, to use our budget. But the money for the reconstruction, right. we have, they disappeared off after we paid. Right, so you, uh, you've got to have the money first in order to pay the contractors on it. It's impossible. But you have to refer people to FEMA. Then the people over there just fill up the, all the information, all the documentation, but when they will pay, we have the, the pay. When is the $200, check $300. 10,000 $10, to repay the house of 50,000? No, it's impossible. It sounds like a lot of the same complaints that I even heard after Katrina here in the United States of those that were living in the South trying to get reimbursed for it. That being said, you are obviously in control of what's going on in your town. You're obviously very effective, very efficient. But we just had new leadership changeover with the governor, with Wanda Vasquez, because of corruption at the central location of the governor's office. Do you think things are going to change with this new leadership? And do the people have, have has it restored their trust in the government to help them? I hope so because she's a woman. So well, as a woman, leave it to her to get the kitchen straight. She's a you know, she has right. experience. Okay? Right. She has been in minister and management on many other things. So she knows and she has heard everyone. The communities, the mayors, and you should hear persons. You should hear the people of the community. If you should hear, you can get educated, you can get the information so you can respond. She's here with the resident commissioner, Jennifer Gonzalez. So the governor of Puerto Rico, Wanda Vasquez, with a group of all his, uh, her staff at the same time. And there are mayors at the same time. Legislative, the president of the Senate, the president of the House of Representatives, uh, they are 
just talking to the Congress and talking to the president, please send our money and trust the new leadership. Well, and eyes to eyes go. And sometimes new blood is what is needed to get things done. I like your optimism. I hope it works out, especially considering we're still in hurricane season. Thank you so much, Actually, Mayor. Actually, thank you very much. It's hard to clear through the debris and get right down to the nitty gritty that is real news. New details are coming to light in the case of Jeffrey Epstein. As more right. between the two-year Treasury yield and the 10-year Treasury yield. Several hundred students are staging a sit-in. The Amazon rainforest and the blame game is underway. It's time for Art to America. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button.